So do you have something else about your life that you want to share with us? You have an amazing life and we are, you know, we want to know a little bit more about your life. So if you have something else to share. Well, I, oh, the next thing that I would say, coming, coming soon, <laughs> is our next project of In Limon. So look out for it. It's about, again, bringing awareness to the youths of Limon and to the parents of Limon the importance of them, the parents speaking, either the Creole Limonense or the, um, the English. And for you it's not to be ashamed so to speak it because I find that a lot of them, I may have it when, you know, say, you know, so, but they know it because I know kids who their parents have spent tons of colonies sending them to bilingual school and they don't want to speak the English. So that's my next project. I have an excellent, put an excellent team together already. We have been meeting and y'all would be part of that project too because we're going to get y'all to do a presentation around. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And we have different people, I've been in touch with different linguistics in Costa Rica who are, and this will be a project done by youths for youths. Wow. So we're tired of people talking now and we, we, it's application, understanding and application that anything works. So we have all the history. So how do we apply it now to the youth? Because believe it, both doctors, the way some of us give the history and hear it, them young people, they, it bore them. So we have to come up with a more Mm -hmm. form of what's going to capture them and make it one, two, three. Of course. Yeah, you would look so, and let them feel proud to, to speak the, the English. But it's my, you know, as I say, I love, I love my country. I love Limon. So anyone, who, I, when I hear our national anthem, sometimes tears. When I hear the hymn of Limon, tears because I, I still identify as long as I've been living here I identify with the culture I love it I feel at home when I'm there I, I just I love getting up in the morning opening the back door the front door just make the sun the breeze I'm walking down the street and just telling people that I love one of my favorite things is bendiciones. And when they say one, <laughs> oh God, that just fills me, especially the older folks. That phrase just fills me spiritually. So I'm just so grateful for all the connection that I, because coming back to Costa Rica after so many years, even though I used to go on vacation, but now I, it's like I had to relearn the culture, restart assimilating myself, because some of the things used to, Piss me off like making lime and thing <laughs> on my food. <laughs> but I've I gotten used to those things. They go, you use a gringo loco, you use a gringo loco. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. And there is, I'm so grateful. And through you all and everyone, there's so much more that I know one of my sisters told me at my sixth year birthday party to say you have done a lot but there is so much more to come so I'm preparing myself for that you know I'm preparing myself for that I know I have y'all maybe one year when I come I can do something at the university I'd like speak about a fiction or something like that something so Lloyd excuse me you said that you 60 <laughs> yeah. why you come up to the camera so <laughs> Black no crack, boy. Black no crack. And despite yeah. all what you went through with drugs. <laughs> so well, imagine. I celebrated my 68th birthday, praise God, this February, this past February. Wow. Blessing. And I, I spent it in, in the month. Really? Because I wanted to be there for my 60th birthday. 
and we did that's where we did the project at the Elibird Moses. And I wanted to do something bigger. Instead of me getting gift, I wanted my birthday gift to the youth as the mom was utiles, paquete. So we gave out 500 paquetes de utiles mm -hmm. and one time scholarships of $100 per. So that was like between the mission and, and my birthday gift. But, mm -hmm. And of course, we had a look up, look a thing, and a look a thing, thing. <laughs> Oh, but that is so, look, we are so proud of you. I'm talking about Aportes, ¿verdad? Aportes yeah. Africa Services. You are, are one of our, you know, examples of the different things that, you know, individuals and groups are doing, you mm -hmm. know, to uplift the community and uplift individuals. So we are so proud of you. Thank you. And the community, community and uh, you have been so supportive to me too. I mean, if, whenever I call, they just say yes. Mm -hmm. And that's hard working too. You know, some people, no, 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 no. They have been so supportive to me. Without the community itself, I could not have done these things that I'm doing down there. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your love. We can feel it to the screen. Thank <laughs> you for your beautiful path and the life you are um, sharing and your example it's a, it's amazing it's amazing my pleasure i know the dude is gonna be uh, happy and proud of having you as a role model thank yes. you so much you're more than welcome thank you all so much for having me okay gracias okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Aho, iaho Somos voces de la historia Sangre, tinta y papel Somos voces de la historia Mis ancestros, su saber mis ancestros, su saber, mis ancestros, su saber. Ao y ajo, ao y ajo.